Hi there, Merrill from DiffBot here, and today I'm going to walk you through one of the fundamentals of our knowledge graph, entity types. Entities within the knowledge graph are pretty much exactly what they sound like. They're objects you can find out in the world. Because our knowledge graph is created by crawling the public internet, they tend to be objects that pop up online. We have 13 entity types in total, which you can see up on the screen. Our, our largest collections of entities include organizations, articles, people, and products. But that's not to say that there's not worthwhile data on the other entity types. So what's in each entity? Well, at a high level, you can think of entities as a collection of facts. The average number of facts per entity across the billions of entities we have is slightly over 20. And for each fact, we have an average of six locations where our AI has inferred or found this information, which uh, helps to provide data provenance. So what facts are included? Well, that depends on the entity type. An organization may have a fact about its subsidiaries, but a subsidiary's fact wouldn't make sense when talking about a person or a movie. The standard facts that our AI looks for are described in the ontology of each entity type. As you explore the knowledge graph more, you'll likely want to visit our ontology reference within our documentation. You can see that link on the screen, or it's included in the video notes. As fields that matter change over time, we're always adding to the types of facts we can pull. But in many cases, core fact types remain stable. People have jobs and educations, articles have authors and topics, products have SKUs and review data, and so on. A second feature of our entities is that they're linked. Linked data is a hallmark of organizing information into a knowledge graph, and allows for powerful searching and data enrichment. What do we mean by linked? Well, Organization entities have people entities that work for them, or invested in them, or did work for them. People entities have skill entities and relationships with educational institutions they attended. Article entities have mentions of brands and speakers of quotes, and so on. This allows for many angles of inquiry, such as facet searching, where you can gain a count of the entities that match a query. Take, for example, the breakdown of skills of employees of a given corporation. Other angles of inquiry enabled by linked data include getting a list of corporations in a specific industry that have a female CEO, or recent org founders who once worked for Google, Tesla, or Apple. Now that we've provided a basic overview of the entities within DiffBot's Knowledge Graph, be sure to jump into the Knowledge Graph search dashboard and explore entities for yourself. As you get more familiar with the KG, you can revisit this series to learn about more advanced topics and techniques within the Knowledge Graph. Until next time!